हाय गाइस वेलकम टू द क्वांट लैब द क्वांट लैब में आपका स्वागत है इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट पिकिंग अ स्ट्रेटजी फ्रॉम ट्रेडिंग व्यू व्हिच इज रिटन इन पाइन स्क्रिप्ट एंड ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इट बाय लेवरेजिंग जनरेटिव एआई विद द गोल ऑफ इवेंचुअली कन्वर्टिंग इट इनटू पाइथन दिस इज समथिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव रिक्वेस्टेड एंड दे हैव वांटेड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू यू नो कोड इन पाइथन विदाउट being a master at it or you know how to get started in that space really quickly so this is a video intended for those people also a uh, lot of people have asked about machine learning so this is you know also that so we'll be looking at knn based algorithm something which is available existing as an indicator in trading view and i'll try to you know generate some code and show you what we can do uh, using generative ai like google bard and chat gpt and how can we understand the code better with a little hope of being able to generate python code let's get started so what you see on my screen is an existing indicator from knn uh it's called ml machine learning uh, knn based strategy by capismo uh, i've just taken this of the indicator uh, from trading view and uh, this seems to be giving some recommendations and the intent is not to do that so what i've done is i'll just try to go over and explain this code uh, online so this is the same code and uh, what i'll try to do is let's just get over and try and see uh, a little high level get into the code so what they have done is you know this code talks about uh, some input variables and then constants uh, something like by clear etc and then it goes into training data trying to split the data get storing some results into prediction bars etc then have some functions i think these are color functions so we can actually ignore them uh, and then some different indicators what they have also done here is i i, I saw that they have, apart from just taking the price they have not only taken the price they have also taken other technical indicators like rsi roc cci etc and volume and all that so that's what's there and then eventually the core logic is this where they are trying to code an knn which is uh, you know under root of the distance of the point that you are trying to calculate compared to the previous distances or previous points that exist in the space uh, i would like to point you guys to a great article which i have stumbled upon from contentsty this is on knrs neighbor algorithm steps to implement in python really really good article uh, this this tons of space they have spent around good time around you know understanding and explaining the algorithm the distance matrix the different sort of matrix you can select what is the model training process a, a little bit of sample code how to go about using it and eventually they have tried to document it into uh, you know well 10 11 steps and uh, they have tried to explain how you will define your objective you know do data preparation training and split doing feature engineering model training tuning evaluation hyperparameter tuning back testing and validation and eventually how do you iterative improve this so this is a really really interesting article uh, they have tried to do build some trading strategy which is trying to benchmark it against spy returns but i would suggest to ignore this because it's not really uh, to compare it would be difficult to get similar returns with just using knn as a strategy so just directly implementing knn as a strategy might not work however in case you stumbled upon you know a good combination of features you might still be able to find some alpha all right getting back to this so what i've done is uh, i have actually sh i'm shooting this video the second time because the first time the audio uh, got disconnected so i'll i'll just glance through what uh, i did so i've tried to ask google bard and say that help me understand this code which is written in python which is written in trading view pine script and then i gave it uh, you know the entirety of the code i just pasted it now uh, this is not a great idea i was just trying to demonstrate if you have long code try and chunk the code out so that you are able to uh, you know manage and the language model is able to digest it if your code is too big and the context number of tokens are you know it it could you could it could end up truncating some input that you give so in the first pass what you get is a very good output it talks about uh, a good structure what are my presets what are my constants what are my variables functions core logic core algorithm and eventually gives you a summary of it what you can do then as a next step is try and ask it to elaborate on each section furthermore and then it will give you a more 
detailed generative insight into what it is. It will talk about each features. It will talk about how it has calculated. It will talk about feature selection. It will talk about labeling, labeling, every aspect of it. And uh, then you can ask it to convert to Python. I did, uh, but eventually this Bard was not able to. So I then went to ChatGPT and with ChatGPT, what I realized is, you know, ChatGPT is able to give you a boilerplate code. However, there's some improvements that I'll like to throw in, which is what I further fine tuned it. So the important thing to understand is you can take any code, literally any code and uh, save it, do a little bit of filtering off, like, you know, remove things like uh, color information, remove, remove stuff like uh, generating alerts, etc remove plotting code uh, so that you just get the core and the crux of the pine script that you have and then throw it back to python and then get a some boilerplate code or try and copy paste put it into notebook and see what part are working correct and what not it's uh I'll, if if it's a usually short short piece of code i've seen it that it works out of the box but then i would suggest to you know scan through the code and do a pass that if it's given a good code or not in this case, it seems to be doing that. However, it has done a little too good of a job and converted the, you know, uh, color functions as well, which I'll remove it later. Now, what I realized is, you know, that it's important to get a like to like, but it's also, you can try and throw some improvement. So if you see the core logic here, it's trying to do KNN on its own by doing the calculation. So what I think we can do is use scikit learn instead of this and if you see uh, knn scikit learn you will be able to stumble upon this and this is a good implementation of uh, knn algorithm it's very straightforward you can read about it in the user guide how it works how is it a classifier how to use it as a regression which is what we are trying to do here in this case and you know something very similar to uh, this plot is eventually what we are ending up doing uh, from a data perspective, at least in this problem when we are trying to predict stocks. Uh, so yeah, coming back to chat GPT, what I did is then since I know this, right, you can always prompt it again saying that, can you rewrite the KNN part using SKLearn library? And it will give you uh, some uh, different customized boilerplate code to use from a KNN perspective. Now, I have not tried this. What I realized is this video is going overboard like eight, 10 minutes. So I didn't want, I wanted to break this into two parts. So the next video that I'll do is I'll try to bring this algorithm and uh, try and code this strategy out completely in Python and also do a little bit of back testing on some Indian stocks as well. All right. So, so that's my take on this conversation as to how can you Take something in trading view and convert it into Python with a very less barrier to entry. It's very low friction. Uh, try and follow this process. Don't just ask it to convert the code. First, ask Google Bar, ChatGPT or Bing Chat or any generative AI tool that you use to explain the code back to you. You know, try and write out and try and draw a skeletal of it and then go and uh, get into trying to do specifics. And when you do do a like to like comparison between trading view and this, PineScript is not that complex, but I find it limiting because it doesn't offer the extensions and libraries and frameworks that Python has, which uh, works better for me from a machine learning perspective. But I'm sure that if people are trying to just code strategies in there using regular style, they're successful as well. All right. So that's my take on this topic. Uh, thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.